I started cooking my Italian sausage for my pizza with Italian sausage and broccoli. The reason I'm doing it is because Jade likes sausage and she likes broccoli. So I thought it'd be really fun to do a very sort of a colorful one that has a little bit of both on it. So I just got some broccoli and what I'm gonna do is just cut them into like little florets and we're gonna cook them in the sausage. You know, what's really nice is here you can figure out what kind of sausage you wanna use. And the Italian sausage is pork and it is so good, very flavorful. It's got a little bit of um, fennel in it, which works really well. They're gonna finish cooking in the pizza oven. So we just need to sort of start the cooking process. So let's take the broccoli, we'll put it right in the pan with the sausage. There you go, add a little bit of that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. There's usually some fat in the sausage, but the thing is is that I wanna make sure there's a little bit of moisture for the broccoli to cook as well. All right, so while that cooks, let's get started on our dough. So after the second hour, it looks beautiful. I'm using a little bit of semolina. And what I like about the semolina is it works really well in the pizza oven. It gives it a little bit of texture and more flavor. If you're making it in a home oven, you can just use flour. So I'm gonna start rolling it out, just like that, nice texture. I think my favorite thing is the smell of the pizza dough. It smells sort of sweet from all the honey in it. So I like to start from the center and work out. Do both sides, perfect. Roll it onto the rolling pin, move it aside. Here is my fun little pizza peel. All right, got that. I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil, create a little protective coating and a little bit of flavor here. And we're just gonna brush a little bit all over. There we go. Brush it all over the sides. Now, we're gonna grab some tomato sauce. Now this is just canned tomatoes pureed with some basil and a little bit of salt. Plain, uncooked. And that's kind of the traditional way that my grandfather used to make it. It's raw, it cooks in the oven when you cook the pizza. I wanna leave a little border too. Now, let's turn off our stove. Let's take a look. So now, the broccoli will finish cooking in the oven. But we're gonna add the broccoli and the sausage. Like that, right over the top. That nice and crispy sausage. See the color? Especially when you're feeding kids something, I feel like if it's colorful, they'll like it even more. I have this beautiful piece of fresh mozzarella. And I'm gonna just cut a piece of it. There we go. There we go. Just drain out some of the water. And then what I like to do instead of cutting the mozzarella, I'm just gonna rip it. It looks prettier, just melts even better. Very Neapolitan to just rip the mozzarella right over the top and not cut it. I can't wait for the kids to see this. And now for the finishing touch. Some Parmesan cheese right over the top. So Parmigiano Reggiano, sprinkle it right over the top. You don't have to put too much, just kind of the finishing touch, which I just love. It's time for some Neapolitan-style pizza. I'll get my pies in the oven, and then Jade and her friends can start whipping up a few of their own. 